Hey YouTube, I got a uh, network build coming up. Uh, it consists of uh, Unify UDM Pro and second gen Unify PoE Switch. Uh, it will be a mix environment. I will need to make the uh, Unify network work with SG300 Cisco Switch or 350. Hang tight, I'll show you how to configure your Cisco Switch specifically the SG300 or 350. Let's factory reset the SG300. Paper clip will do. Keep pressing. It will light up. There you go. Let go. That is good to go. Let's go on the desktop and configure it. Just a uh, quick snapshot of the Unify network. Got a basic LAN there, and also I created a uh, VLAN 30. And in addition, I created a switch port profile where I combined the main LAN and, of course, tagged the uh, voice over IP. Um, it's useful information having this background so you could see um, the way I configured the uh, Cisco switch SG300 or the 350. Okay, we're back on my desktop, right? We got putty in the background we will be needing that later on but um we just did a factor of reset on our cisco switch doesn't matter if it's sg300 or 350 but once you reset it username is cisco password is cisco let's log in okay it's asking us to change the password and username root let me in one two three four let me in one two three four i think that's a match click apply should be good to go don't need to save it first thing i always do is go to security and tcp udp services enable ssh click apply uh, and copy save configuration just a habit, always do, sure. You could uh, keep entering command, but web interface, I just copy and save all the time. Now let's go to VLAN. Feel free to add as many as you want, but in this case, I just need to do a uh, voice over IP, right? Subnet 30, VoIP, and click apply. Copy and save, click OK. Apply, okay. Then go to Voice VLAN, Properties, change that to 30, click Apply, click okay. And copy and save configuration, click Apply, click okay. From there, we're done. Uh, if you're wondering, um, this Cisco switch is actually has the latest and late uh, latest and greatest, right? Just a uh, quick glance 1.4.11.5 So we are good to go here. Let's go ahead and exit Activate your putty And that was 10.10.61 click open log in with your newly created credential right which is root root and let me in and then from there type in config And then from there, interface, range, I'm just going to do it for all, GE1 to 28, sure. Switch port, mode, trunk, switch port, trunk allowed uh, if you have a um, VLAN that is 20 this is how you go about it click add 
20 separated by comma, right, and 30. But in my case, I just need 30. But that's how you go about that. Oh, switchboard trunk allowed. I forgot to put VLAN. VLAN add 30. There it is. Exit. Uh huh. Exit. And go ahead and copy. Running. Running. Config. Startup. Config. And yes. That is it. The configuration of the switch went well. Everything's working as they should be. The phone is on VoIP, VLAN. The computer is on the native LAN, 10.10.10. .10 I connected via ethernet and wireless. So everything's working as they should be. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to click subscribe, click that notification bell. Chat with you guys later. Another successful project. Bye for now.